Huyo daktari sijui ama daktari ama ni nurse. Mama mweupe. Ako na dread. Sijui kama huo mama bado ako pale. Akanifukuza tena. Akaona na push. Ndio aliingia huko reba room. Akaambia kaenda akaambia huo daktari. Huyo atazaria hapa nje. We guys, Mama Rusi Kibaki Hospital in it again. Eh, maybe kwa watu wenye hawajui hii hospitali ya Mama Rusi. Most of the time huwa inatumika na wakaji wa Nairobi iko Kayore. And uh, guys, I chene niwaambi. Ah, uh, hii hospitali most of the time tukisikia tunaisikia anga kwa bad news. Yaani most of the time yani mnajua kuna ile kitu yenye mnaweza sikia for good news like okay kuna Kenyatta Kenyatta Hospital most of the time tunaisikianga na tunaisikianga most of the time tunaisikianga okay kule kuna pelekwa wagojwa wenye wako you know wagojwa zaidi na most of the time okay tuseme kama maybe uh, uwezo wako uh, uko chini na sikianga yani watu wengi sana wanaenda pale and uh, although tumesikia mambo mbaya baya about uh, uh, Kenyatta si kama mama rusi mama rusi most of the time tunaisikianga ama huwa ina trade kwa mambo baya and this time loud pia ina trade most of the time huwa ina trade unasikia kuna wamama wamekufa pale wakizaa watoto uh, sijui mtu alitritwa vibaya pale and guys for me i too have experience about mama rusi kibaki hospital cause mimi mtoto wangu nilizaria huko so uh, this time loud wana um, Uh, mama Rusi in a thread imagine uh, for one bed wa mama wenye wanazaa for one bed wanalala wa mama watano na mnajua zile nini bed za hospitali i don't know mnajua venye zinaka hmm? wa mama watano wanapewa bed moja and uh, for that one bed our mama nilisikia wakisema kuwa hiyo bed yenye wanapewa moja inawabidi hiyo uh, bed wapatia watoto wao wao wanalala kama wamekati imam jin mama mwenye ameza yani guys kama najua kuna wanaume kama mtu hajui kuzaa alafu ukue utalara kama umekaa you know guys it's it's so sad it's the saddest saddest thing cause acheni niwaambie um woman really go go through a lot mtu akiza and uh, acheni niwaambie pale inakuanga ni wewe na mungu wako either ukufe ama ufauru yani hiyo inakuanga tu ni hivyo hmm? guys ni wa mama wengi sana tumesikia wamepoteza uhai wao uh, wakipata watoto na pia after kupata watoto unasikia mtu ashapata mtoto maybe amekaa siku mbili siku tatu na ndio huo amekufa and uh, acheni niwaambie Uh, okay mimi ni mkikuyu na kulingana na ukikuyu ama vyenye nimelelewa ukipata ukipata ake mama akipata mtoto ule ni mtu mwenye huwa anafaa akue atekiwe very very good care ukishapata mtoto cause unajua the moment unapata mtoto okay kuna hizi mifupa hizo mifupa ujue zinakuanga zimeshikilia mtoto hivi akiwa kwa tumbo. Alafu pia kuna hii backbone. Backbone inakuanga ina support. Backbone inakusupport especially ile time yenye uko na mimba una inakusupport. So imagine ah uh, hiyo ni ni hii backbone ilianza kuzoea kusupport ile ule mtoto akiwa one day so akaenda 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 mpaka huo mtoto akafika 9 months. Huo mtoto maybe ako na 3 uh, point something to 4 kg. Ako supported na ile backbone na hizi mifupa zingine za mwili. And um, ile time umezaa ujua unazaanga tu at once. Hwa! That means ile mifupa yani ime ile kitu yenye ilikuwa imezoea ku hold sasa imeachilia na imeachilia at once. Ha? So niambie kabla ile mifupa irudi to eat position si laisi. Lazima huo mtu alafu pia una rus damu mingi ukiza. Hmm? 
So unapata mtu mwili imeregea, mwili haiko normal tena. And guys acheni niwapatie tu uh, a small experience, a small experience about okay venye mimi nilikuwa. Unajua helikupewa kitu na mtu mwenye anajua kuliko yani unaambua na mtu mwenye hajapitia all someone who have not gone through that experience. So um mimi nilipata mtoto wangu nilipatia mama rusi my first and my only daughter nilipata mtoto wangu mama rusi and uh, guys it was the worst experience and uh, acheni niwaambie mimi nilichukia mama rusi nilichukia mama rusi even if today nishikwe na uchungu nikiwa pale mama rusi i would request uh, nipelekwe hospitali ingine lakini nisiingizwe mama rusi cause guys it was nilipata mtoto na nilipata lakini it was the worst experience so nilienda pale mama rusi this was not now my friend i'm talking about eight years ago nilienda pale mama rusi i remember i went there in five in morning nikaenda nikashinda the whole day uh, nikapelekwa kwa um, not reba room nikapelekwa kuna ni tuseme kuna mahari sasa before uende reba reba, reba room kuna mahari pametengwa sasa wewe unaenda pale so nilienda pale niko na uchungu you know mimi na, niko tu pale ka uchungu kana kuja kanaenda kana kuja kanaenda so nilienda pale nikaka uh, daktari pale anakuja na tuona once alafu anaenda zake uh, so mimi uh, nikashinda the whole day So usiku hey, aya usiku ikafika ni around saa tatu hivi unaona kila mtu ako kwa unajua sasa kuna 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 nini mmeingia pale kuna vitanda lakini mko wengi pale mko like vitanda ni tuseme ni vitanda kama ine. na kwa ile room mko more than 15 sasa nyinyi mwenyewe mnashindwa hata usiku ikiingia mtalala haji So mimi saa tatu ikafika. Mimi nikasema mimi hapa nimekaa na nikasema acha sasa nijiekelee hivi kwa zile kidanda tulikuwa tunashare like to share watu watatu ama waini. Hmm? Cuz tuko more than 15 vitanda ni ine. So mimi nikajiekelea hapa kwa kitanda kwa kona ya kitanda. Unajiekelea hapa kuna mwingine yuko hapa. Kuna mwingine yuko pale kwa hata huwezi lala. Ni saa tatu ya usiku. So rake mi ama sisi juu ni sema bahata nzuri ama mbaya tu venye nilijiliekelea hivi au ni kama niliita uchungu mimi nakwambia nika uchungu ikanishika ile uchungu mbaya nikasimama na venye tu nilisimama hivi uh, maji ikanini ika, yani i think sasa hiyo hiyo maji yenye huwa inapasuka ikapasuka na ikamwagika sasa hizo hakuna hata daktari niko tu hapo niko peke yangu sasa uchungu ikaanza kutoka hapo uchungu ikaanza nilikuwa nashika kikombe hivi na hakuna daktari hapo nashika kikombe hivi niweke maji na shindwa kujiwekea niweke chai na shindwa kujiwekea kwa sababu hizo hii ni iko imekauka nasikia tu imekauka na jaribu tu hivi nimeshikilia tu hivi kikombe na siezi tu ni, me, ni uchungu ni uchungu hata siezi ongea yani uchungu imezidi hata kuongea ni sema mtu anisaidia hapa siezi eh? uchungu so mimi nimeshikilia tu kikombe yangu hivi mimi akili kaniambia nitoke sasa niende nikafanye nini nitoke niende nika nikachukue sasa hizo ni kama saa tatu na nusu hivi na hiyo uchungu nitoke niende nikachote maji nje kwa mfereji ndio huu nimeshikilia kikombe hivi nilienda nikakaa kwa bench na uchungu nimeshikilia na hakuna daktari wanakuja tu wananiona hapo wamepita wame hata hakuna mtu wanashughulika <laughs> hakuna mtu wanashughulika na wewe mimi hata saa hizo hata kuongea ni shida hmm? nimeshikilia tu bench hivi na kikombe yangu hmm? aya ndio huo mimi sasa nikashindwa hata niende ama nifanye nini nikakaa chini hapo sasa mimi niko tu pale na scroll na scroll daktari akakuja akanipata hapo akaniambia wait amka amka sasa unakaa hapo uzaria hapo unataka uzaria hapo hey, my dear my friend sasa hizo sasa uchungu imezidi hata kuamka yenyewe ni shida eh 
nimekaa tu pale ukweli najifahamu but miguu hata haina nguvu yani ya kuamka nasikia tu ni, unajua nilikuwa naenda kuchukua maji nilikuwa naenda kuchota maji nimeshindwa hata maji yenyewe nimeshindwa kutoka niende ni nini nika struggle hapo nika struggle na uchungu yangu hakuna hata daktari hata watu wenye wako hapo na wajaribu tu kuwafanyia hivi hakuna mtu hata anakea ana, ana na wajani najaribu tu kuinua mkono wajue sijiezi hakuna mtu hata anaweza nini so nikakaa hapo venye uchungu ilienda kunini kidogo ndio huo ni mimi nikaelekea direct to the river room <laughs> kama nimejinini kama kama nimejivuruta chini sisi hata enda naenda tu hivi nimejivuruta naenda tu hivi nikaenda nikaingia reba room <laughs> kuingia pale reba room nikamwambia daktari tafadhali daktari nakuomba mimi nakufa nilikuwa nasema nakufa daktari nakufa nisaidie daktari akaniambia toka hapa imagine toka hapa Uu, na alikuwa serious huo daktari na kumbukanga ni mwanamke mweupe i don't know that doctor yani bado wako tu pale ako tu kwa simu hivi sijui kama ni kuchata ama alikuwa anafanya ni but ako tu kwa simu nikakaa pale reba room unajua nilikaa like one hour pale na struggle tu hivi najivuruta najivuruta ameniambia nitoke na yuko serious toka toka na jistrag hata sijui niende wapi na struggle niende ni nikakaa pale like one hour one hour my friend kama na struggle nikaenda nikatoka sasa nikafika pale nje nikaenda sasa nikashika tu nikakaa pale kwa ile bench nikaishika tu hivi nangangana nayo nangangana nayo nasikia mtoto nitazaa nasikia tu yani nazaa yani mtoto anatoka hmm? mtoto anatoka Dio huo sasa mimi unajua sasa nilikaa pale tena niko pale nje ujue ile nini cement ni baridi guys mnajua venye Nairobi kuwa baridi ile cement ni baridi unajua kutoka saa tatu si kurudi si kurudi hata nini si kurudi kule mahali nilikuwa nilienda sasa tena nikakaa kwa bench ni uchungu uchungu yenye haishi eh daktari anakuja ananiambia ananiambia wewe amka hapo utazaria ipaji na sijiezi sijiezi ni ile uchungu yenye yani it's crazy yani ni ile uchungu ya kifo mimi hata nilikuwa nimeona kifo hmm? so nikakaa hapo na struggle na niko pale kwa ile bench maji hata siwezi enda kuchota nimeshindwa hata siwezi amka naenda tu hivi na najisukuma tu najisukuma tu aya nikakaa hapo sasa nikarudi tena kule reba room sasa hizo na, naenda tu hivi na, naenda tu na kuna na, na nini na jipush na jipush na sijasi mama naenda tu kama nimekaa na jipush nimekaa chini kwa fro nikajipush mpaka mpaka kule kufika kule tena akanifukuza tena hey ndio huo mimi nikatoka tena nikatoka ni hata hanijari hanioni kama ni mtu madas badaktari wanakuja tu pale wananipita na wambia nisaidi hakuna mtu hata ananiona ndio huo mimi nikatoka nje kutoka nje nikaenda sasa nilifika pale nje <laughs> guys wale watu wana huruma hawa na huruma hawa tu hawa huruma sijui kama huo mama bado wako pale akanifukuza tena i'm sorry guys
I'm sorry, guys. So, uh, mama, uh, daktari ya kanifukuza tena. Nika toka, nika jiskuma. I'm sorry guys. Nikajisukuma mpaka kwa ile bench. So venye nilifika pa niliko kwa hapo kwa hiyo bench. I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Ah, sasa Nikarudi pale. Sasa pale kwa bench. Nije ni kwa corridor sasa. Mara ya pili. Sasa nikiwa hapo unajua sasa uchungu ilikuwa imezidi. Nikaanza kupush. Daktari mwingine akipita hapo nakaambia huyo daktari huyo atazaria hapa nje. Aya akakuja sasa ndio akatoka. Akakuja. Akanichukua akanichukua sasa na huyo daktari. kaniingiza sasa kaniingiza huko ndani haya akanipatia kitanda sasa nikapewa kitanda huko sasa rebaru alafu akaniweka maji akatoka akarudi kwa simu yake sasa benyari niweka maji Nikao hita ni kama bia daktari mtoto anatoka hakukuja Mimi nikapush mtoto Akotoka simu Sasa mama mwingine alikuwa hapo jirani yangu next to me I akamwambia Tisho ya mtoto ilikuwa ishatoka Akamwambia daktari tisho ya mtoto imetoka akakuja akanichunguri akanichunguria kesho imetoka akaniambia don't push hata akiniambia don't push mtoto alikuwa shatoka wote mtoto ametoka tayari are you telling you guys mimi siezi rudi mama rusi siezi rudi Najua kuna mama wengi wamezaria pale and I'm happy for that. But mimi kama kuna mahali siezi rudi. Sasa hizi nikipata nikitaka kuzaa. Siezi rudi mama Rose. Heli hata nikae kwa nyumba. Nitafute mtu huku nje akujanisaidie. Lakini mama Rose. Mama Rose siezi rudi. <laughs> You know guys, it was the worst worst experience ever. Unaona kifu na macho. Daktari yako pale hata haizi akakusaidia. Eh? Unapomia daktari tafadhali na kufa. Haizi. Hai kusaidia. Imagine the struggle all those hours. nilipata mtoto saa saba ya usiku saa saba. kutoka saa tatu. hiyo ndio sasa nilipata ile uchungu yani ya stragu yenye ni stragu nayo nikiwa peke yangu na daktari hajari hajari hata hakei uwe stragu na uchungu yako ukikufa ukufe hana shida na wewe so venyani niambia nisipush na unajua sasa ile ni ile nini mtoto atasha toka kichwa yana ananiambia ndio ameambiwa sasa na huyo kichwa mtoto imetoka amekimbia kuvaa gloves akaniambia don't push ako huko na mimi sasa niko hapa akiniambia don't push mtoto ni huyo a mtoto asharuka huko hata ni bahati mtoto wangu hakuanguka chini ni bahati ya mku 
mtoto akaruka huko so nikasikia mtoto mtoto ametoka aya venye mtoto alitoka akaniambia don't push sasa ndio akakuja sasa amevaa gloves akakuja akachukua mtoto akamchukua sasa akamwekelea kwa kifua yangu unaona sasa mimi sasa nikakuwa trist nime yani nime recover nime feel yani si kurikava ile kurikava but yani at least nime feel niko niko relieved yani ameniekelea mtoto sasa nikashika mtoto wangu nikamshika nikaanza kuomba nikaomba guys my dear hiyo time tu nilikuwa kule na hiyo uchungu nilikuwa tu naomba Mungu kwa sababu yani hata mimi nilikuwa nimeona kifo nilikuwa tu naomba Mungu nilikuwa tu naomba Mungu namwambia Mungu nisaidie naona kifo nisaidie nisaidie eh nisaidie haya nakumbuka hata kuna time aliniuliza wewe ulikuja huku kuomba ama ulikuja kuzaa haya so <laughs> kutoka saa tatu, saa ine, saa tatu, saa sita, saa saba. Four hours niki struggle pale. Hmm? Na scroll tu hapo. Imagine four hours mtu anaona tu ukiscroll na ana haja na wewe. Ukufe au usikufe ana haja na wewe. Aya. Mimi nikachukua sasa kaniekelea mkono. Ndio huo mimi nikashikilia mtoto wangu. Nikachukua mtoto nikamwekea, nika yani nikachukua mkono nika yani ni kumhold kuhold mtoto wangu ule daktari alinichapa kofi kwa mkono. Kaniambia nani amekwambia ushike mkono? Yaani sijui kama ni bangi alikuwa anavuta ama ako shida gani. Mama Brown sijui kama bado ako na hizo dread, alikuwa na dread. Akanichapa kofi. Pa! Nani amekwambia ushike mkono mtoto? You know. But that's God. Niliza vizuri. Aya. So akani akanini akarap akachukua mtoto akampanguza akaniambia kaa vizuri nikushone ati akaniambia una unafikiria ni ugiko, niki ukikaa uki vibaya nisikushone unafikiria kuna mwana ume atawahi kukutamani eh sasa ukisikia hizo maneno unakubali tu unashonwa but let me tell you guys you know <laughs> nilipata huyo mwanamke yani huyo mwanamke alinitreat vibaya sana nenda nikafeel mama rusi hiyo hospitali oh my god i think wale watu wameona mambo mengi they don't even care about uh, uhai za watu hmm? na hiyo ni experience yangu ujue kuna watu wenye wengi sana wamepoteza maisha pale and uh, and uh, for hiyo nimewapatia tu story cuz you know i got experience in there Mm. Venye nilipata mtoto sasa nikapelekwa uh, sasa kwa rumu nyingine kwenda kulala nikaenda nikaenda na mtoto wangu so mimi nikasema mimi sitalala tulikuwa tunalala wawili that time nikasema mimi sitalala nitalala yani nikaniangalia mtoto wangu nikakaa hapo we mimi sijui hata mahali kiusingizi kilinipata gai nililala yani nilishikwa na usingizi mzito ndio hata nilikuwa nataka kuambia unaona wale wa mama atubakue watalala kama wamekaa chini guys haiwezi hawaezi itabidi tu walale chini venye tuliona wa mama wamelala kwa fro hmm? my dear serikali yetu wale wabunge tu kila wakati sijui o oh, eh, eh, like sasa ile mambo ya impeachment and whatever ni pesa tu zinatumika pesa tu zinatumika Hizo pesa haezi nunua vitanda kule ama waongeze hiyo hospitali ya mama Rusi waone venye itaongezewa ikuwe kubwa eh hawaezi guys may god have mercy on our country cuz i feel uh hii country yetu tunafaa tupate mtu kiongozi mwenye ako na utu kiongozi mwenye ako self fresh hata kama atakula akule tu kidogo si kukula kila kitu Mtu mwenye ako na mipango, mtu mwenye ako na plans, hmm? mtu mwenye anajari watu. Ukiona tukifika pale kwa madaktari, imeanza kwa government yetu. They don't care. Eh? Wale wa madamanasi wenye wako kule hata wao wanachoka. Ukiona mtu ana behave hivyo, that means ni wachache pale wanachoka. 
anachoka mpaka akili yake inachoka yani she don't care anymore you know guys hmm? Sisi sema ule mama nini lakini pia unajua ni binadamu na anachoka although sisemi ati ukichoka utreat mtu vibaya no but ni vibaya sana heli at least wange wangepata kale kaloho kautu kahuruma hmm? watreat watu vizuri na government yetu kama ni kuajiri tafadhalini ajirini nini muajiri at least uh, madaktari wengi wa kuhudumia wa mama hmm? ama wa kuhudumia watu and uh, kama ni vitanda pia vitanda ziongezewe you know guys why mama rusi hiyo sijui story za mama rusi yani huwa zinanishinda zinanishinda kabisa may god have mercy so guys mimi nawaachia hapo <laughs> Nacheni ni relax cuz yani it was not meant to be that emotional but nikikumbuka hiyo hiyo situation yenye nilipitia huko i feel a lot of pain i feel a lot of pain mtu wako tu kwa simu ana chat mm-hmm. na hakujari na ameingia kazi hajari ukufe usikufe hakei mm-hmm. It's, it was the worst worst experience ever so guys mimi nawaacha uh, na wapenda sana that was 2015 2015 sita waisa how 2015 it was my best year nilipata mtoto but experience oh my god ah ilikuwa uchungu guys nawaachia hapo na wapenda sana and uh, see you in the next video share my videos like and comment acheni tuendelee tu kuelimishana acheni tuendelee tu kushikiliana mkono na wapenda sana let's be one guys tukiona viongozi yetu wanatufinyiria uh, ama hii nchi mahali imefika saa hizi it's us sisi wa Kenya sisi kwa sisi ndio sasa tunafaa tu build nchi yetu cuz wale watu pesa zao wanapeleka nje si pesa zao pesa zetu wanachukua wakipeleka nje ya nchi wanaenda kuziweka huko in case of anything hata kufanya uchunguzi ifanywe hamwezi pata wa pesa wao zenye wame deposit huko nchini hmm. ah, guys na wapenda sana and see you in the next video bye bye